today is a good day because I found out that Chipotle has recently added a new item to their menu and that is cauliflower rice. I know, you heard me right, cauliflower rice. Um, it is not yet at every single location, but I found one near me that carries it. I'm in Southern California. I found a location that is at Newport Bluffs in Newport Beach that carries it. And I am so happy to be trying it with you guys. So I got a burrito bowl. And in the bowl, I got chicken, guacamole, cauliflower rice, fajitas, uh, mild tomato salsa, corn salsa, cheese, and lettuce. Now, obviously, cauliflower rice has been extremely popular over the past two years for different type of diets, um, different, you know, nutritional guidelines. And I just personally eat it because I think it's delicious. It's a fantastic substitute for rice, um, whether or not you're trying to cut down uh, on carbs or whatever. So I'm so excited to try it here. Um, here is the bowl. Let me see if I can dig down and just get down into that rice. So I could just get you a shot of the cauliflower rice. Okay, I see it right here. Oh, that's chicken. Mm, that's just as usual. Okay. Let's see if I can give you a close up of this. There's that cauliflower rice. I'm gonna try it on its own first. Okay. Consistency, it is cooked perfectly. Seasoned extremely well. Now that I'm having it, I'm realizing that they probably didn't wanna season it too heavily with all the other toppings that everyone would be adding onto their bowl or burrito or what have you. Um, let me try out the toppings now. Ooh, this is exciting. I feel like this is gonna be a very dramatic life change for a lot of people. Mm. Delicious. I mean, honestly, this is the perfect substitute even just for Chipotle specifically because sometimes, you know, you get a giant bowl and of course I love my giant bowls, but with the rice and the beans, it's a heavier option. So if you're on a day that you're feeling like, you know, you don't need that much, you wanna go a little lighter, this would be the perfect substitution. Now, the only drawback so far that I could see is that on the bottom here, there already seems to be a little bit of liquid pooling at the bottom because cauliflower or cauliflower rice does kind of release a lot of water. Um, so it might just be the combination of my particular order that I got because I got you know, veggies on veggies on veggies and chicken and the lettuce. So maybe it creates more of a watery substance at the bottom and there's really nothing to soak it through. Um, I, we didn't get chips um, or a tortilla, but if you got that, you could easily sop it up with that. Or if you got the cauliflower rice with the pinto or the black bean, I feel like that would soak it up as well. I just went cauliflower rice and then, you know, fajitas, lettuce, kind of like the more watery vegetables. So maybe that's why this is happening. But I do know that, you know, when you make cauliflower rice at home, you kind of have to strain it of all the water. But you guys, this is a fantastic addition to their menu. I think that should just, or they will eventually just offer this at every location. If you look up the calories for cauliflower rice too, very affordable for any type of diet. I love it. I'm going to give it a nine out of 10, minus one point for the wateriness it creates at the bottom. But other than that, I think it's delicious. Consistency is great. 
everybody go and try to find a location near you that carries it. Try it out. I would love some comments to let me know what you guys think.